Tonight coming up with a fuel efficient solution that gave you excellent wet handling, excellent dry traction. That's something that hasn't been done in the past, and that required a breakthrough in rolling resistance technology. I'll explain rolling, rolling resistance briefly for you. If you look at the, the volt where the tire meets the carpet, it's a little bit flat there. That's because the weight of the car presses down on the tire, and as the tire moves around, it tries to regain its original shape. And that expends energy in the form of heat. We'd much rather be spent driving the vehicle forward. So again, a tremendous amount of energy goes into just moving the tire forward that you'd rather translate into moving the vehicle forward. Under a traditional manufacturing process, you have a lot of polymers in the tire that are loosely connected. I talked about what it takes for a tire to rebound from the surface of a road. When they're loosely connected, it takes more energy for them to rebound. Polymers make them much more tightly connected, so they rebound much, much more easily. Polymers also have the benefit of spreading silica more evenly out through the tire matrix. Current technology, this is future technology, what we're coming out with a fuel max tire, gives you reduced rolling resistance, but also enhanced wet traction, and it enhances tread wear. First, with an example. This ball is made out of Goodyear's current uh, tire compound. It's what's on the tread cap of a current Goodyear tire. This is the next generation technology. This is on the Fuel Max. This is the actual compound that we use to produce a Fuel Max tire. I'll show you what I mean by wasted energy. If I drop them from an equal height, this is the old, this is the new. If I drop them from an equal height, you'll see the Fuel Max ball spends much more of its energy on movement. That works on this device as well. If I just put them up here, again, this is the Fuel Max ball. This is the current technology. Just let them both go. You can see the fuel max tread compound goes much farther and rolls much longer than the current conventional compounds. But another way, I'll put the fuel max ball here and the conventional ball here. These were made in the same molds with the same. Uh, they have the same mass, or at least both of them. See, so the fuel max ball makes it over. The conventional tread compound doesn't. How does that translate into performance for the Volt? Well, GM's engineers test a lot of tires, and this scatter graph represents all the tires they've tested over the last several years. This is rolling resistance, and as we said before, lower rolling resistance is much better. This is traction. Higher traction is better. And you can see the compromise that current tires represent. When you move up in traction, you tend to move down in rolling resistance. This is the fuel max tire that we developed for the Volt. Excellent rolling resistance, much lower than the other tires they've tested. At the same time, very, very strong traction in the upper half of all the tires they've tested with traction. And GM engineers tell us that that translates into about one mile of range in the electric mode for the Volt vehicle. So again, one way that our partnership helped us bring new technology to life is going to help the Volt come to market as well.